Good morning, Memorial. Today is Friday, May the 22nd. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. We are honored to be here at Memorial High School in McAllen, Texas, to recognize the many accomplishments of our graduating seniors. Due to the current pandemic that our nation is experiencing, our students have had to complete their senior year at home through distance learning. However, we did not want to miss this opportunity to tell you how proud we are of them. Thank you for joining us as we celebrate the Mighty Mustang Class of 2020. Good morning, Mustangs. We would like to welcome the students, families, and other honored guests of the Class of 2020 to celebrate with us today. At this time, please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance and the Texas Pledge led by Student Council President Andrea Temez, and remain standing for the national anthem sung by Audra Wright. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one, and indivisible. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming And now our principal, Mr. Pedro Alvarez, Jr. It is an honor and privilege to share this moment with all of you today. The Senior Awards Assembly is an exciting time when we get to honor and celebrate the achievements of our students in academics, fine arts, athletics, and community service. Before we begin, I would like to recognize our McAllen SD School Board of Trustees. I would also like to recognize our vertical team principals. Without them, we couldn't do what we do here at the high school. Their support is an integral part of our students' growth. From Bonham Elementary, Ms. Leticia Infante. From Escandon Elementary, Mr. Carlos Mora. From Gonzalez Elementary, Ms. Cristina Hernandez. From Houston Elementary, Ms. Deborah Loya Thomas. From Jackson Elementary, Mr. Miguel Herrera. From Roosevelt Elementary, Mr. Albert Irlas. From Brown Middle School, Mr. Alfredo Gutierrez Jr. And from Kathy Middle School, Mr. Melvin Benford. I would also like to recognize Mrs. Bridget Ree, the Associate Superintendent of Instructional Leadership. Her guidance truly helps our school excel. Thank you, Ms. Ree. And now for a message from Dr. Jose Gonzalez, our Superintendent of Schools. 
Hello everyone, I'm glad to be here with you all at the Senior Awards Ceremony to the class of 2020. Congratulations on all the hard work. We're very proud of the entire class. All the seniors tonight receiving awards, congratulations. These awards signify the hard work that you've put in. So I wanted to commend you all on behalf of the administration, the entire McAllen ISD family and our board of trustees. Great job and these awards are well deserved. Also wanted to thank the parents. Thank you all so much for everything that you've done for your children along the way. McAllen ISD is very grateful for our outstanding parents. To our teachers and administrators and all the support staff that have done all the hard work throughout these years to get our seniors ready to move on to the next level. Thank you all so much. Once again, seniors, congratulations on these awards. They're well deserved. The success of our students is a team effort. We appreciate all that our community partners do to support each and every one of them. On behalf of the entire faculty and staff, student body, and parents, we want to express our most sincere gratitude for all those who have partnered with Memorial High School. Parents, congratulations, you made it. We applaud you today for giving your child the encouragement, guidance, and support that has shaped our students into who they are today. Thank you, parents. Teachers and counselors, thank you for making a difference in the lives of this future generation. Your hard work, mentorship, and guidance paved the way for our students' successes. I could not run this great school without my administrative team. Our assistant principals, Ms. Rebecca Bechtel, Mr. Ramiro Castillo Jr., Mr. Jesus Lozano, Ms. Cassandra Rodriguez, our school improvement facilitator, Ms. Alicia Flores, and our Dean of Instruction, Mrs. Yvonne Caldwell, who will begin our celebration. Once again, let's celebrate. Today, our students will be receiving local scholarships that have been provided by banks, businesses, alumni associations, schools and community organizations, and student and parent organizations. Others will receive scholarships and opportunities for higher education from branches of the military and colleges and universities from all over the United States. Finally, some will receive honors of academic achievement or service to their school and community. Still, others will be recognized for participating in athletics, fine arts, or UIL while they have been a Mustang. Thank you and congratulations to all of you. It has been an honor to work alongside your sons and daughters this school year. It is with the support of the counselors, administration, teachers, and staff that our senior class is now ready to move on to the next chapter in their academic lives. To our local scholarship donors, each year you spent countless hours raising money to award our students scholarships. Your unwavering support grants your students the financial freedom to make college a reality. So for your dedication to our students, we say thank you. On behalf of the Pepsi Scholarship Foundation, I would like to recognize Aviana Sanchez and Sydney Song. On behalf of the Raul Tijerina Junior Foundation, I would like to recognize Christopher Rodriguez. On behalf of Patty and Larry Fallick, I would like to recognize Esteban Lepe. On behalf of Schneider Electric, I would like to recognize Ismeth Montelongo. On behalf of Joanna Rocha and the Elida Aguirre Sandoval Memorial Scholarship, I would like to recognize Jacqueline Rodriguez. The Roman David Delgado Memorial Scholarship is a memorial scholarship established by the Delgado family on behalf of their son, Roman David Delgado, a former Nicky Rowe student. This scholarship is awarded to graduating seniors entering the university to pursue higher education. On behalf of the Roman David Delgado Memorial Scholarship, I would like to recognize Robin Eddy, Bianca Garcia, Valeria Garcia, Tiffany Liu, and Leilani Sanchez. On behalf of the American Legion Post 37, I would like to recognize Alyssa Alvarado. On behalf of the American Legion, Auxiliary Unit Post 37. I would like to recognize Daniela Perez. The Cora San Miguel Scholarship for Higher Education. This scholarship was set up to honor Cora San Miguel, who worked as a bilingual teacher for 32 years with McAllen Independent School District, as well as Houston Independent School District. She was awarded Teacher of the Year by HISD, this scholarship 
is to help students fulfill their dreams of becoming an educator. Jessica Garcia, Cora walked in your shoes. This is to help you walk in her shoes. On behalf of the Cora San Miguel Scholarship for Higher Education, I would like to recognize Jessica Garcia. The Gustavo San Miguel Scholarship for Law Enforcement was set up to honor Gustavo San Miguel, who retired with 39 years of law enforcement. He was a professor at Pan American University, a Border Patrol agent, and later a special agent with immigration. The scholarship is to help students enter in law enforcement. Melanie Garza and Humberto Briones. On behalf of the Hidalgo Star Chapter of the Texas Exes, the Alumni Association of the University of Texas at Austin, we would first like to congratulate all of the seniors at McAllen Memorial High School on all of your accomplishments. Our chapter awards scholarships each year to several very deserving students. This year, our committee reviewed almost 300 scholarship applications and offered interviews to only 11 students. Here at Memorial High School, are three recipients of our scholarship. It is with great pride that we award Michael Morales a Hidalgo Star Chapter Texas Exes Scholarship and David O. and Keisha Bernadas the Rita and Morris Atlas Texas Exes Scholarship. Again, we congratulate all of you and wish you much success in your future endeavors. Hook 'em horns. On behalf of the Hispanic Women's Network of Texas Rio Grande Valley Chapter, Latinas in Progress Program Scholarship, we would like to recognize America Hernandez, Mia Perez, and Sydney Song. The Matthew Kaufman Scholarship is awarded to the McCall Memorial football player who distinguishes himself as an outstanding leader of character who places others before himself. Mustang Nation and the Memorial Coaching Staff afforded Matthew Coffin many opportunities over his tenure with the team. This scholarship is intended to supplement the Memorial Coaching Staff in increasing opportunities for deserving Mustang football players. Congratulations to this year's recipient, Joseph Lada. On behalf of Stephanie McAllen Moore and the McAllen Achievement Scholarship, I would like to recognize Leah Christine Payne. On behalf of the Pan American Roundtable, I would like to recognize Jessaline Guetta. On behalf of the PEO Star Scholarship, I would like to recognize Yasmin Medrano. McAllen Memorial Band Boosters would like to recognize Abraham Torres, Nesa Gonzalez, Melanie Rodriguez, and Nicole Payne. McAllen Memorial Baseball Boosters would like to recognize Ronnie Samora. McAllen Memorial Choir would like to recognize Audra Wright, Arturo Rodriguez, and Carly De La Garza. McAllen Memorial Cheerleader Boosters would like to recognize Alethea Martinez and Leila Sierra. McAllen Memorial Football Boosters would like to recognize Campbell Spates, Nick Nelson, Joe Gonzalez, Michael Pequeño. McAllen Memorial FFA Boosters would like to recognize Roland Tyler Cortez, Evie Martinez, and Carly De La Garza. McAllen Memorial Golf Boosters would like to recognize Raul Gonzalez, Jr., Kevin Sanchez, Anthony Aguirre, Jessica Garcia, Caitlin Gomez, Mia Aleman. McAllen Memorial Prancers Booster Club would like to recognize Ismeth Montelongo, Destiny Olivares, Stephanie Martinez, Victoria Sanchez. McAllen Memorial Softball Booster Club would like to recognize Kayla Dow, Sofia Hernandez, 
Ashley Hadagi, and Clarissa Reina. The Callan Memorial Student Council would like to recognize Andrea Tamez, American Sign Language National Honor Society would like to recognize Liz Rivera, Spanish National Honor Society would like to recognize Jessica Boras. Many of our students have been awarded with merit and or athletic achievement scholarships and grants from various colleges and universities. I am proud to announce that the class of 2020 has earned over $16 million. Congratulations to the McAllen Memorial High School class of 2020. Safety of our nation is one of the greatest responsibilities any American can accept. Having sworn an oath to defend our great nation in times of peace, uncertainty, or conflict, one of our students has volunteered and joined the United States Army. Memorial High School is proud to recognize Aaron Ruger Williams. Thank you for your service. Memorial High School is proud to announce that we had multiple athletic, academic, all state award recipients. These students not only excelled athletically, but they maintained at least a 92 grade point average throughout the school year. Our 2020 academic all state recipients are Andrea Ashburn, Colin Baus, Justin Chires, Brandon De La Garza, Valeria Garcia, Kobe Gushwa, Dago Gutierrez, Joseph Lara, David Lee, Michael Morales, Nick Nelson, Jorge Perez, Michael Pequeño, Christopher Rodriguez, Marco Rosales, Matthew Silguero, Campbell Spates, Sebastian Turk, Aaron Williams. Congratulations to all our senior athletes who were recognized by Texas High School Coaches Association for academic excellence. At this time, we would like to recognize our outstanding seniors in athletics and fine arts. Our MVP for athletics are as follows. Baseball, Ronald Zamora. Softball, Kayla Dow. Boys track, Michael Pequeño. Girls track, Kissa Ramirez and Jackie Douglas. Girls powerlifting, Lily Bradford. Boys powerlifting, Fernando Briones. Boys wrestling, Albert Munoz. Girls wrestling, Stefania Espinosa. Cheerleading, Alethea Martinez. Swimming, Madison Moore and Timothy Graham. Football, Campbell Spates. Volleyball, Sydney Marburger. Boys cross country, Jorge Perez. Boys basketball, Christian Espinosa. Girls basketball, Valeria Garcia. Girls soccer, Andrea Santana. Boys soccer, Jorge Torres. Tennis, Andrea Diaz Ayala. Boys golf, Raul Gonzalez. Girls golf, Jessica Garcia. Congratulations to our senior athletics MVPs. And now for our outstanding seniors in fine arts. Prancers, Ismeth Montelongo. Visual Arts, Desiree Vasquez and Audra Wright. Choir, Audra Wright. Orchestra, Carlos Solis. Congratulations to all our senior MVPs for Fine Arts. This week our students received their cords, stalls, collars, and medals, each specific to an honor and accomplishment they earned the last four years. Congratulations students, you have earned the right to wear them with pride. Many of our students have dedicated their time and their abilities to represent Memorial High School in athletics, fine arts, JROTC, or UIL academics. Thank you for being great role models and leaders for our campus. Under the Foundation High School program, students are able to earn one or more endorsements as part of their graduation requirements. 
Endorsements consist of related series of courses that are grouped together by interest or skill set. They provide students with in-depth knowledge of a subject area. Students may earn performance acknowledgement in one or more of the following categories. Earning an AP test score of 3 or above, earning an IB test score of 4 or above, outstanding performance on the PSAT, the SAT, or the ACT, completion of at least 12 hours of college coursework with the final grades of A or B, bilingualism and biliteracy, earning a state, nationally, or internationally recognized business or industry certification or license. At McAllen ISD, the Career Technical Education Unit provides 52 professional licenses and certification student opportunities. Congratulations to our graduates who have earned an endorsement and a performance acknowledgement. We are very proud of you. Career Technical Education, CTE, is focused on providing academic and technical education opportunities for students including rigorous and relevant career preparation. By affording students programs of study, students are equipped with 21st century skills that prepare students for highly competitive global economy. CTE creates programs of study that empower students to secure high-wage, high-skilled employment and seek advanced education and training. In addition, CTE programs of study increase students' options for professional licenses and certificates, meet the needs of the current labor market, enhance college and career readiness skills. The Société Honoré de Français, the National French Honor Society, fosters and encourages the study of the French language and culture. The students have fulfilled two years of French with a grade of 85 or better, a minimum GPA of 3.0 in all other coursework, excluding French grades, completion of 25 credits through cultural events, community service, and tutoring. The following students have been awarded with a red, white, and blue cord. Galilea Gutierrez and Crystal Benya. The American Sign Language Honor Society was established to encourage and recognize high academic achievement in ASL studies for high school students. To receive the Laurent Clerk Medal, high school students must complete three years of ASL study with a 3.7 GPA average and an overall GPA of 3.5 in all other coursework. Students must also complete 10 community service hours that benefit the local deaf community. Alexandra Medina, Alondra Garcia, and Liz Rivera. The Spanish National Honor Society, or Sociedad Honoraria Hispanica, is a society that honors and encourages the study of the Spanish language and its culture. These students have completed a minimum of three levels of Spanish courses or additionally completed all four levels offered up to Spanish for literature with an average of at least a B plus or higher. They were also involved in at least 25 hours of community and cultural hours in the society and have no record of misconducts or probation. The following students have been awarded with a red and gold cord signifying the colors of the flag of Spain. Alejandro Magaña, Arturo Rodriguez, Camila Cantú, Clarissa Reina, Dulce Sanchez, Fátima Olguín, Ismeth Montelongo, Jessica Borras, Jorge Torres, Karen Reyes, Carla Cardosa Cruz, Leisha Martinez, Leslie Aranda, Margarita Perez, Melanie Breton, Melanie Rodriguez, Natalie Ortega Quesada, Neisa Gonzalez, Stephanie Martinez. The National Honor Society Caller is awarded to students who have met and maintained all requirements of scholastic abilities, community service, leadership, and active participation as a member of society. Congratulations to all of our National Honor Society members. Mia Aleman, Alexis Alvarado, 
Leslie Aranda, Kimberly Aradondo, Andrea Ashburn, Demi Banks, Setlali Cabrera, Camila Cantu, Rebecca Caro, Brianna Gaudio, Viviana Cruz, Carly De La Garza, Stephanie Dominguez, Robin Eddy, Tamara Flores, Jessica Garcia, Joseph Garcia, Genesis Garza, Caitlin Gomez, Nesa Gonzalez, Jose Dagoberto Gutierrez Jr., Mayra Gutierrez, Georgina Hernandez, Sofia Hernandez, Ashley Hauregui, Natalie Lopez, Aisa Loredo, Alejandro Magaña Gloria, Leisha Martinez, Jasmine Mata, Alexandra Medina, Yasmin Medrano, Michael Morales, Juan Olivares, Natalie Ortega Quesada, Clarissa Ortiz, Michael Pequeño, Mia Perez, Katrina Poja, Araceli Ramirez, Kista Ramirez, Eduardo Rivas, Arturo Rodriguez, Christopher Rodriguez, Dulce Sanchez, Leilani Sanchez, Andrea Santana, Sydney Song, Aaron Tawil, Abraham Torres, Kimberly Trevino, Sofia Viria. To graduate as an RGV Lead Scholar, a student must meet all four of the following requirements. Complete all courses required for the Foundation High School program with at least one endorsement. Complete the high school portion of a six or eight year program of study that includes in high school a coherent sequence of two or more career and technical education courses for three or more credits. Complete at least two college level courses as a part of a high school graduation plan. Each college level course must meet all four of the following requirements. Must be a career and technical education course taken for high school credit. Must be either an articulated course for which the student has earned an 80 or above or a dual credit course for which the student has earned a passing grade. Must be a course that is included in college and career focused program of study graduation plan. And complete a declaration of intent to be an RGV lead scholar. Congratulations to our McAllen Memorial High School 2020 RGV lead scholars. For their outstanding achievement in student council, the following students are awarded a collar from the National Association of Student Councils. These students have worked hard for over two years to establish themselves as leaders in the organization. This year, they received the National Gold Council of Excellence recognition for the 12th year in McAllen Memorial history. Congratulations to Andrea Ashburn, Holly Hu Jenkinson, Yasmin Mendrano, Mia Perez, Yohali Reina, Andrea Tamez. Students who have received the Royal Blue and White Cord are McAllen ISD AP program graduates. Students must have taken 12 pre-AP and AP courses and must have completed all AP exams associated with those AP courses. Congratulations to our AP program graduates. Memorial has 27 students who have achieved AP scholar status. This recognition is awarded to students who have scored a three or higher on three or more exams during their high school career. Our Memorial High School AP scholars are Jordan Aguilar, Sarah Aradondo, Andrea Ashburn, Chantal Charles, Giselle Costa, Carly De La Garza, Robin Eddy, Edna Garcia, Jose Gutierrez, Macy Henderson, America Hernandez, Georgina Hernandez, Kevin Johnson, Aisa Loredo, Tiffany Liu, Sydney Marburger, Jasmine Mata, Emily McBride, Christopher Medina, Alan Medrano, David O, Emily Payne, Maria Ramsden, Jose A. Reina, Juan M. Rios Villarreal, Aaron Tawil, and Marcos Turk. And now for our AP Scholars with Honor. We have six students who have earned this award. 
This recognition is awarded to students who have scored an average of 3.25 on all AP exams taken and who have scored at least a 3 on 4 or more exams. Congratulations to our Memorial High School AP Scholars with Honor. May Camacho, Sergio A. Gonzalez, Sofia Hernandez, Yasmin Medrano, Michael Morales, and Carlos Solis. This year, Memorial has 11 AP Scholars with distinction. This recognition is awarded to students who have an average score of 3.5 on all AP exams taken and who have a 3 or higher on 5 or more AP exams. Congratulations to our AP Scholars with distinction. Mia Aleman, Alexis Alvarado, Fernando Arjenal, Keisha Citad Bernadas, Jessica M. Garcia, Myra S. Gutierrez, Suniti Jane, Azael Juarez, David Lee, David Lee, and Eduardo A. Rivas. This year, Memorial has one National AP Scholar. This recognition is awarded to students who have scored a 4 or higher on 8 or more AP exams with an overall average of at least a 4 on all AP exams taken. Congratulations to our National AP Scholar, David Lee. Before presenting the next awards, I'd like to recognize the stellar achievements of all of our AP students at Memorial High School. On behalf of the AP teaching staff, We'd like to thank you for your continued effort and your hard work, and we wish all of you the best of luck in the future. Recipients of our AP Excellence Awards were selected by AP teachers based on consistent commitment to excellence in their subject areas. Top AP English students, Sydney Marburger and Michael Morales. Top AP Social Studies students, Andrea Ashburn and Christopher Medina. Top AP Math students, Sofia Hernandez and Alejandro Magaña. Top AP Science student, Fernando Arjenal. Top AP Computer Science student, Sofia Hernandez. Top AP Fine Arts students, in the area of Art, Audra Wright, and in the area of Music, Chloe Lopez. The AP Resilience Award for Perseverance goes to Laisha Martinez and Brandon De La Garza. And finally, our top AP student at McAllen Memorial High School is Sofia Hernandez. Memorial High School has 12 students who were selected by the National Hispanic Recognition Program as scholars. Students into the program by taking the PSAT as high school juniors and by identifying themselves as Hispanic. About 4,000 students from more than 150,000 students nationwide were selected as scholars. Scholars had a GPA of 3.5 or higher and achieved a minimum PSAT score for their region. Memorial High School's National Hispanic Scholars for 2020 are Mia Aleman, Fernando Arjanal, Andrea Ashburn, May Camacho, Cristina Godinez, Sofia Hernandez, Kevin Johnson, Yasmin Medrano, Michael Morales, Eduardo Rivas, John Henry Ruiz, and Julia Taylor. Memorial High School has 45 students that have completed the State of Texas Foundation High School program with endorsement and have additionally completed the IB Diploma program requirements. Gabriel Aguilar Garza, Mia Aleman, Alexis Alvarado, Keisha Bejo Bernadas, Antonio Castillo Jr., Alexandra Gavazos, Giselle Costa, Denise Dampkin, Andrea Diaz, Benjamin Franz, Trevor Gayoso, Bianca Garcia, Christian Garcia, Jessica Garcia, Edna Garcia Herrera, Valeria Garcia Martinez, Sofia Gora, Mayra Gutierrez, Saniti Jane, Dong Wan Joe, Kevin Johnson, David Lee, David Lee, 
Tiffany Liu, Emily McBride, Alan Medrano, Umberto Montemayor, Madison Moore, David O, Andrea Peña, Paulo Penick, Maria Ramsden, Jose Reina, Juan Rios, Eduardo Rivas, Anto Antonio Santos, Montserrat Cifuentes, Carlos Solis, Aaron Tawil, Adriana Trejo, Marcus Turk, Sofia Villarreal, Evelyn Whitworth, Maria Zimbran Cárdenas. Congratulations to our 2020 Memorial High School IB Diploma candidates. This year we have four AP Capstone candidates. The AP Capstone program is comprised of two AP courses, AP Seminar and AP Research. Each AP Capstone candidate will receive a Capstone stall and an Acorn pin. The Acorn is not only the College Board trademark, but it is also symbolic of the great journey each of these Capstone candidates have made. An English proverb teaches us that great oaks grow from little acorns. Our 2020 AP Capstone Diploma candidates are Ryan Borrego, Chantal Charles, America Hernandez, and Holly Hu Jenkinson. South Texas College offers a unique opportunity to high achieving high school juniors to earn an associate degree from STC while they complete their high school graduation requirements. The academies are a two year dual enrollment programs for high school juniors who are interested in earning an associate's degree at South Texas College during their junior and senior year at high school. The following students are candidates to receive an associate's degree. Angel De La Cruz, Joseph Garcia, Natalie Lopez, Clarissa Ortiz, and Jacqueline Rodriguez. This year, our students have made us proud with multiple state-level awards and recognitions. BPA ICD-10 Diagnostic Coding State Qualifier, Sarah Arredondo. BPA Basic Office Systems and Procedure State Qualifier, Andrea Gonzalez. BPA Human Resource Management State Qualifier, Ana Hernandez. DECA Team Decision Making Entrepreneurship Event State Qualifier, Fernando Argenal, Orlando de Leon. DECA Community Awareness Project State Qualifier, Carly de la Garza, Angelina Gonzalez. DECA Team Decision Making Financial Services Event State Qualifier, Joseph Garcia. HOSA Pharmacology State Qualifier, Nesa Gonzalez, Abraham Torres. HOSA Healthcare Issues State Qualifier, Natalie Ortega. HOSA Pharmacology International Qualifier, Nesa Gonzalez. Skills USA Cosmetology State Qualifier, Sergio Hernandez. FFA Prepared Public Speaking Agribusiness State Qualifier, Evie Martinez. FCCLA Food Innovation State Qualifier, Liz Rivera. State Qualifier in Promoting FCCLA, Jaylene Quintero. TPSA State Qualifier, Paulina Salinas. Powerlifting Senior State Qualifiers, Fernando Briones, Fabian Rodriguez, Justin Chares, Mar Armando Resendez, Sergio Reina, Jennifer Prado, Alyssa Moreno, Alyssa Alvarado, Jessica Montes, Lily Bradford, Allison Gutierrez. UIL Orchestra's Texas State Solo and Ensemble Contest State Qualifiers, Carlos Solis. UIL Band, Texas State Solo and Ensemble Contest State Qualifiers, Cassandra Gandanosa, Matthew Chapa, Victoria Garcia, Jacob Guerra, Luis Guerrero, Tyler Hess, Giovanni Lopez, Ashley Moreno, Shane Nelson, Nicole Payne, Luis Ponce, Jeanette Rodriguez, Melanie Rodriguez, Frida Sanchez, Abraham Torres, 
Jake Wagman. TMEA, Texas All-State Choir Area Candidates, Destiny Moreno, Audra Wright. Our first faculty award is given to the two students who excel in all areas, including academics, athletics, and extracurricular participation in school activities. Our best all-around senior male is Michael Morales. Our best all-around senior female is Andrea Ashburn. Next is the Senior Service Award. This award is given to the two students who have, in the opinion of the faculty, made the most significant contributions to their school and community. Senior Service Award male is Campbell Spates. Senior Service Award female is Andrea Ashburn. At Memorial, it is a tradition to present the president of the senior class with a plaque containing a gavel. Today, it is my pleasure to recognize the president of the class of 2020, Mia Perez. Mia is the daughter of Frank and Yoli Perez. She is also the student council vice president and has been actively involved in class office since freshman year. Mia is a captain of the Lady Mustang soccer team and was a member of the Lady Mustang volleyball team. She will be attending the University of Texas at Austin in the fall to study communication and leadership. We would like to recognize the top 10% of the class of 2020. They represent the various programs we have at Memorial High School. These students have earned the white stole with blue embroidery. The embroidery denotes the top 2% as summa cum laude, next 3% as magna cum laude, and the next 5% of the class as cum laude. Summa cum laude. Andrea Ashburn, Keisha Citadel Bejo Bernadas, Sofia Hernandez, Sunidi Jane, David Lee, David Lee, Yasmin Medrano, Michael Morales, Dulce Trinidad Sanchez Chavero. Magna Cum Laude, Mia Aleman, Alexis Alvarado, Carly De La Garza, Robin Eddy, Jessica Garcia, Sergio Gonzalez, Georgina Hernandez Baeza, Tiffany Liu, Alejandro Magana Gloria, Sydney Marburger, Leisha Martinez, Jasmine Mata, David O, Andrea Peña, Carlos Solis, Cum Laude, Fernando Argenal. Colin Baus, Chantal Charles, Christian Garcia, Valeria Garcia Martinez, Caitlin Gomez, Nesa Gonzalez, Sofia Gora, Mayra Gutierrez, Jose Gutierrez, Macy Henderson, Emily McBride, Alan Medrano, Madison Moore, David Ocampo, Emily Payne, Leah Payne, Mia Perez, George Perez, Katrina Poja, Eduardo Rivas, Arturo Rodriguez, Leilani Sanchez, Aaron Tawil, Evelyn Whitworth, Audra Wright. The salutatorian for the class of 2020 is Andrea Ashburn. Andrea is the daughter of Dr. Colin Ashburn and Mrs. Nancy Rocha. Andrea Ashburn has been a part of the McAllen Memorial Girls Basketball Program as a player and manager for the last four years. She was awarded Student Assistant of the Year by the Texas Association of Basketball Coaches and, as the school mascot, also received the All-American Award for the Universal Cheer Association. She has served as President for the National Honor Society, President of Choir, Vice President of the Senior Class, and Student Council Publicist. For the past two years, Andrea is proud to have been selected to represent Memorial High School as a Superintendent, District Ambassador, and a McAllen Memorial Ambassador. This year, 
She was selected as KRGB's Student of the Month and McAllen Memorial's Student of the Week. Andrea served as a team leader and sponsorship outreach team member for the Hidalgo County Sheriff's Community Foundation. She also serves as the first and second grade teacher and worship leader at Palm Valley Church. Andrea is an AP Scholar and National Hispanic Scholar. Her experiences both in and out of the classroom at Memorial High School have prepared her to pursue a doctorate of physical therapy at Hardin-Simmons University. I present to you the valedictorian of the class of 2020 at Memorial High School, David Lee. David is the son of Ji and Ji Li and Xiao Jing Sheng. David has participated in UIL academics and debate for four years in events including spelling and vocabulary, cross-examination debate, and literary criticism. He has been the president of UIL spelling for the past three years and the co-president of UIL cross-examination debate this year. For the past two years, David has placed second at the state competition for UIL spelling and vocabulary and has placed at the regional competition since freshman year. Since his sophomore year, David has qualified for the state competition of UIL cross-examination and has received first or second at the district competition. David is also the president and founder of the IB mock trial team, where he has led them to qualify for the state competition two years in a row. He is also the co-founder and co-president of Beyond the Border, a nonprofit organization that dedicated itself to tutoring and helping asylum-seeking refugee children at the Respite Center. Beyond the Border has been featured in the International Baccalaureate Global Magazine, local media, and has been recognized by the American Federation of Teachers. David has done graduate-level chemical engineering research at a lab at UT Austin and has written a research paper on his findings through the selective Welch Summer Scholars Program. David is an International Baccalaureate Diploma Candidate, a National AP Scholar, and a National Merit Scholar. He will be attending Harvard University to potentially pursue a degree in Applied Mathematics and Neuroscience. Students, as principal of Memorial High School, you've made me just so happy. It's been an exceptional year with a lot of challenges, but through all of it, you rose up. Ironically, this year's theme for our high school was Rise Up. We talked about the things that we do for our 40th anniversary with 40 years of history. All the Mustangs before you came through the school and become successful. And now it's your turn. I'm truly proud of you. This is an exceptional year for you. Don't deny yourself that this year in your graduation year, anything else was different. But forever, everyone will remember this year. The four years you gave our high school has been phenomenal. On and off the field, I've seen you work harder than any other school. Truly a Mustang. When they ask me what it takes to be a Mustang, I say it takes everything you have. And the expectation is to do that. Those of you that walk the halls of Memorial, and now that I come in and and see the building empty, yeah, I can feel that the school is all our students. All the students that came through Memorial and set the standard, but you kept up that standard. And even through distance learning, you made it happen. You rose up. I'm truly grateful and blessed to be your principal. I wouldn't rather be anywhere else except here. This building is just walls. But you guys, you're the heart of this building. You're the heart of the Mustang community. Thank you so much. Take care. And once a Mustang, always a Mustang.